Welcome to the Mantis Back Porch Compost Tumbler Assembly video. Your tumbler will come packaged with all the necessary parts and hardware. All you'll need to provide are a hammer, two 7 16 inch or 11 millimeter or adjustable wrenches, a Phillips head screwdriver, a regular flat head screwdriver. Start by assembling the aerator panel. Insert the 1 quarter inch by 3 and a quarter inch bolt through the aerator cap and position them into the recess on the inside of the aerator panel. Position the aerator base over the bolt Thread the wing nut onto the end of the bolt until hand tight. Be careful not to over tighten the assembly. Now assemble the door panel. From the inside, insert the socket bolts through the two larger center holes in the door panel. Flip the panel. Place the latch strike against the outside of the door panel over the ends of the socket bolts, securing it in position with the lock washers and screws. Attach the handle to the outside of the door panel with the 5 8 inch screws through the outer holes. Now for the front panel. As you did with the latch strike, secure the latch against the outside of the front panel with the socket bolts, lock washers, and screws. Now you're ready to assemble the drum. With one end cap face down on the ground, Insert the aerator panel assembly in the channel of the end cap directly opposite the D-hole, aligning the post of the panel with the mating hole in the end cap. Fit the front panel on one side of the aerator panel assembly, aligning it similarly into the channel of the end cap. Now fit the back panel on the other side of the aerator panel assembly, aligning it into the channel of the end cap. Position the second end cap onto the panels, locating the posts of the panels in the holes of the end cap. Again, make certain that all panels are fitted into the channels of both end caps. The D holes should be in line at the open area where the door will go. Secure the top end cap to the panels through their posts with the 5 16 inch flat washers and number 14 by 1 inch screws. Tighten the screws until they are just snug. Carefully turn over the partially completed drum assembly and secure the second end cap in the same manner. To install the door, guide the tab on one side of the door panel fully into the slot of the end cap. Moving now to the other end cap, pull it slightly apart as you guide the door panel's other tab into its slot. Make certain that both tabs are fully through their holes before closing the door. As the door hinges closed, these tabs rotate and lock themselves to the end caps. To remove the door, simply reverse this procedure. Now we can assemble the drum frame. Tap an axle rod cap evenly onto one end only of the axle rod. Slide a wheel onto the axle rod making sure the axle cap fits into the cup in the middle of the wheel.
Pass the rod, with wheel, through the cross hole in a leg, and then through the small tube of the brace. Noting the position of the first leg to the brace, hold the second leg in the same position and slide it over the other end of the axle rod, followed by the second wheel. Tap the second axle rod cap firmly onto the end of the axle rod. Slide the handle over the ends of both legs until their holes line up. Rotate the brace so the hole in one end aligns with those of the handle and leg. Make sure both flattened brace ends rest on the outside of the handle. Pass a three and a quarter inch bolt through all three parts. Keep the bolts loose and just through the tubing. Do not use any other hardware yet. Repeat this step for the other side. With the door removed, position the frame so you can carefully work the three and a quarter inch bolts in the frame through the center holes of both end caps. From inside the drum, insert an axle bushing over the end of the bolt and into the center hole of the end cap. Now place a flat washer over the bolt and against the axle bushing and secure it with a lock nut tightening only until the flat washer is snug against the axle bushing. Repeat this step for the other side. Your compost tumbler is now completely assembled and ready to use. Read your operating instructions manual how to make superior compost carefully before starting your first batch of compost.